Good day, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Dr. Jones. Let's go straight into the Word of God this night. Let's go into the Word of God. The Word that is alive, the Word which was before everything, ladies and gentlemen. So right now, I want us to read according to uh, Revelations uh, chapter 20 from verse 11. Revelations chapter 20 from verse 11. Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat on it, from whose faith the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw, and I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged according to their works, by the things which were written in the book. The sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and heads delivered up the dead who were in them, and they were judged each according to his works. Then death and heads were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And anyone found a written, and anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Ladies and gentlemen, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Shkwembo. Uh, in Jesus name here is your word before us you are the one Holy Spirit you are the one uh, to teach us to train us to help us know more of you understand deeper uh, of your revelations tonight in the name of Jesus we thank you amen ladies and gentlemen uh, what we have read Tonight, the Bible says, And I saw a great white throne, and him who sat on it. Ladies and gentlemen, Bible is a very important thing. We are going to be able to do So, we are talking about this man, John. John is a very important about this man, John. John is a very Patmos. He was in the land of Patmos. So this man, he was without eyes. They removed his uh, physical eyes. By the time uh, all the apostles were being persecuted, and then this man, John, his eyes were removed. And then he was laid into the prison in the middle of the sea. And while he was there hopelessly, Jesus Christ of Nazareth appeared to him in the vision. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are without a hope, let me tell you something. Jesus Christ of Nazareth can appear. Yes, he appeared to him where there was no hope in the Patmos, in the ocean, in, I mean inside the sea, there was only just a, a, a dry land in the middle, but Jesus appeared. Ladies and gentlemen, God will appear where you don't have a hope. God will appear where you are hopeless. You may be sitting there, sleeping there. You are about to kill yourself. You are about to finish your life. Ladies and gentlemen, God is going to appear in that situation. God will be there. God will arrive in the right time in that situation. You feel like you don't worthy anything. You feel like you are nothing because the people are mocking you. People are talking bad about you. Everyone, they are laughing at you. People are laughing, are laughing. They are laughing at you. People are laughing at you at your situation. People are laughing at you because you are not educated. People are laughing at you because you are jobless. People are laughing at you because you are not married. Ladies and gentlemen, in that hopeless situation, God will appear. 
Ladies and gentlemen, God appeared in the a, a, a situation where John was in the ocean, inside the ocean, in the prison. Jesus appeared. God appeared. Ladies and gentlemen, God is coming in that situation. God will arrive. God will be there with you. Oh my God. In the helpless situation, that is where God is coming. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, remember about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were inside fire. Inside the fire, there is no hope. It's only death, crying and gnashing of teeth. But these two people, I mean three guys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they started walking. They saw a fourth man inside the fire. Baba na moon, wa moon, akar afamba famba inside the fire. The fourth man was walking inside the fire. Ladies and gentlemen, God will appear in that situation. God will appear to you. God will come to you. He will rescue you. Oh my God. Utafika shkwembo. Utafika Yehovah. Utafika at the right time. People, they can be mocking at you. Yehovah shkwembo utafika. He will be right there in your situation at the right time. Ladies and gentlemen, you are there without food. You don't know what to eat tonight. You don't know what to eat tomorrow. The Bible says, do not worry about what you will eat. Minga bilelu kumita jayinim. Mita mbalayini. Oh my God. Sikurungwa narungwa nyan ringa nesharom. Any day has its own Oh my God, God will appear in your situation. What happened to the situation of Daniel? Look at Daniel, when he was in the den of lions, what happened? God appeared. That's why Daniel at the end he said, God, oh my God, he sent his angel to rescue him. Shikwembu, uta omelela in that situation. Shikwembu will be there. In that situation, he will rescue you. He will take charge of you. He will take care of you. People are talking about you. People are laughing at you. They don't want to see any good in you. Oh my God. God will appear in that situation. He will be right there next to you. He will give you hope. He will give you what you need. But ladies and gentlemen, those people who are laughing at you, they will be disappointed because they will see you in another level. They will see you, oh God, they will see you in another level, in another fashion where they never expected. But sikibakuseka, but sikibakuseva, but sikibakubulablakubia, but God will be there. He will rescue you. He will come there in the right time in that situation. God is coming to your life. The angel of God is coming to rescue you. I'm talking about the angel that will go that is going to arrive at the right time. The angel of God, the mighty warrior. Bangababa Komini, Balabako just to finish your life. But let me tell you something. No witches will touch you. No witches will be able to conquer you. Because God will take care of you. God will deliver you from that situation. God will be in charge. Jehovah Shkwembo will give you the power. God will give you the power to overcome Oh God, what is it that you will overcome? You will overcome in that situation. You will overcome. You will be prosperous. You will be victorious. Utashula. Utashula, ladies and gentlemen. The devil might have stolen anything that you have. The devil might have took anything that you have that you hoped for. Oh my God. Yehovah Shkwembo. Ukona. He will arrive. Here the Bible is talking about the man John. John was in a prison in a place of Patmos in the, in the ocean around the sea. Oh my God, Jesus appeared. Oh my God, Jesus appeared in a very bright clothes. Oh my God, his eyes were like the fire and his face was like a, a sun. 
Ladies and gentlemen, God will appear in that situation. He will rescue you. He will be right there where you are. In that hopeless situation, long of stupid for no one dying, long of stupid for another funnel of a giant, your kids doesn't have anything to eat. She quam, but about now, your wash come with a funa, your wash quambo, or Otagutisa, your wash come with a quinica matimba, your wash come and go seen senna, your vote about now, David, the devil says, Since I was young, I have never. I have never seen God abandon his servants, his children. David or in Lozani Basamaleva Fanana Minaso. It angastama Awana Munu at Sikwa Shkwembo. Monwatsemba Shkwembo at Sikwa Shkwembo. God will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Ladies and gentlemen. When we have read the Bible says <coughs> Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat on it. From whose faith the earth and heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. Aka bangna shivanda shasona suleswan shivanda shulovelo shotsuka amin shobasa lo atsameka sholoko tilo nam sabasungbona su disapiara su baleka su yakule. My God, otava ru queen loko tilo ri baleka ri yakule misaba i baleka yakule. Where will you be? And I saw the dead, the small and great, standing before God. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one day you are going to stand before God. You yourself, you are going to stand before God. The life that you live right now will present you to Jehovah, will present you to God. Ladies and gentlemen, be careful of what you speak because the Bible says, Remember, in our tongue is like a pen. It's writing everything that we are saying. Shingwana shingwana shi shivala blaka. Our tongue is writing whatever that you say. You write, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk something possible. Let's talk something positive. Ambi irena wanganwa ina erga this hopeless situation. Let's talk something positive. Let's talk something wonderful about our life. Let's prophesy what we want to see. In our life, in a prophesy something that we don't want to see, or something bad that will happen in our life, or in our children's life, or in our marriages. Let's talk, let's speak success over our lives, ladies and gentlemen. The Bible says, Oh my God, and I saw the dead, the small and great, standing before God, and books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life and the dead were judged according to the works by the things which were written in the book ladies and gentlemen our lives is written in the book of life whatever we do every day ladies and gentlemen i make sure what we do the way we live let us not live in a way that when they show you at the television, you will be so disappointed. You will just close your eyes and don't know what to say. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my God. Trust in God. Believe in God. Oh, Let God be our Father whom we trust. Let's believe in God. Let's trust in God. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been in the hard situation. Nastiba kurmina. Never got the situation tautika. Where kwalonga ko you want to kill yourself. Auti wunganda ine. You want to remove that pain in your heart. You ko pain leu jika jika kana yona. You are moving around with the pain in your heart. You don't know how to remove the pain inside your heart. But let me tell you something. That that pain will disappear when Jehovah is in your life. The pain will disappear. I'm praying for you right now for the joy of the spirit. Tsaka ntsaku aungeneleli abtongo mzawe. Suna kutsaka. Suna kwa na peace, joy and happiness. Na stiba kure kutsaka. You will never buy happiness with the money. Mara joy is from the Lord. The Bible says joy cometh in the morning. Kutsaka. Kafika na mponzo. You don't know how to be rejoicing. You don't know how to be happy. Ladies and gentlemen. People will keep on disappointing you. Boyfriends will keep on disappointing you. Girlfriends will keep on disappointing you. Your relatives will keep on disappointing you. People around you will keep on disappointing you. Mara, ladies and gentlemen, trust in the Lord. 
trust in God. Now, this is I understand. Some of you, you are hopeless. You don't know what to say. You are disappointed by your relatives. You have been disappointed by your fellow brothers and sisters. You are disappointed. Left, right, and center, they disappoint you. When you need help from them, they disappoint you. No one want to help you. No one want to rescue you. When you want help, you don't have money to feed your kids. People, they show you their backs. Bakukumbashi kose. Abala bukukubona. Abala bubat sinelela. Mara loksuk fambela kashi bakut sinelela. Mara loko shimo shawa isunga kutika. They run away. That is why they say... When the days are darker, friends are few. Unga shama lukunga vaka chiruwe imunu. People, they don't want to see you when you don't have anything. People, they cannot even mention you as their relatives. Tani ima shakayabo, they will never mention you. They will never take you as anything. Vai melagu ukumantiru. Kuru itabakotaku kutekela nshukwene. That's how people are. People, they will always want to see you Go down. Balaba kukubona uwa. Balaba kukubona uunga avina nchumo. Balaba kukubona uwa back to zero. Mara, let me tell you something. Trust in the Lord your God. Believe in God. Temba ambishunga tembisi. Trust in Him. Keep on believing in God. God will rescue you. God will be right there for you. Kuna tinsumita tilo around you. Begin to talk to them. You say to them, my ministering angels. Masubona, I'm suffering na shupeka around. But when you are around my ministering angels, and then kuku diwa la mutine, ministering angels, make sure that we eat me and my kids. Ladies and gentlemen, begin to talk to your angels. Talk to your angels. Because your, your angels, they are moving around your angels. They are moving around. They don't have any job. Give them job right there. Give them job. Give them something to do. But my angels, we are going to eat. I want to eat me and my kids, me and my husband, me and my wife. We want to eat. Angels, angels, as you are moving around me, around our family, drop something to eat. Make us eat. Oh my God. Tell them they are your ministering angels. Angels. Shikwembu uinikati ministering angels. Let's go to the rela. Shkwambo inikati ministering angels so that they can be around us, serve us, work for us. Pela, ladies and gentlemen, angels, they have been created to serve us. Angels have been created to be messengers of God and be our messengers. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to kill yourself where you are. Logo twana na moon wak tsika, logo twana na moon wak tsika, van abakulabi, mara you look so beautiful, you don't know what is going on with you, you look so beautiful, you look so handsome, mara awubi, you don't have a guaranteed a relationship, what is causing that, ladies and gentlemen, kuna van van mona lam saben, baku rarsa suilu, oh my god, the, the witchcraft is too much, some of the witchcraft is from uh, 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 some of our relatives and the people do, who do not like us. But let me tell you something. When Jehovah is in your situation, when Jehovah is in your life, when Jehovah is right there, oh my God, they will see you eating. But they will see you eating. But they will see you But they will see you prospering, wearing nice clothes. Being in the right situation at the right time. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my God, this man John, he said, I saw the white throne. No one had a book with the furua, the book with the fariwa, the book with the furua. No one a book in one in a book of Yabtomi. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a book of life. Book of life. Book of life. Book of life. Let me talk about this book of life. The book of life is where our names are written. One day when I was dreaming, I'm talking about myself. I was dreaming one day, then I saw a man standing before me, and then he was holding this book. I was dreaming. Jones was dreaming. So I told that person, then that person asked me, uh, is your name here written in this book? I said, look my name where in the alphabets where it's written J. Ladies and gentlemen, the way we live our life matters. 
Let's hear in Saxona it matters. The way Komana and Saxona now and one it matters. The way we talk, the way we live. Ladies and gentlemen, your over shquembo. Abi kona kwala mzen kaptom zangwe. Ami kate kis. Menga fambel kule na shquembo. Masubana ban. People are dying of coronas. People are dying every day. Van wa for when you are still alive. Are you important more than the people, those who were in the government, those who died? Are you important? Ushana woman and coca more than people, those who are rich. They died of this coronavirus. They died because of a lot of things. They died, they died, they died. You are still there and you don't have money in your pocket, but you're still alive. Those who've got money, they died. Those who've got too much food, they died. Those who've got big companies, they died. You, you are there. You are there. You are still alive. Ukona wahanya. Mara auna male. You don't have money. You don't have this and that. But you are still alive. Ladies and gentlemen, this life is very much important. And this life is important to you because God gave you this gift. And this gift is the gift of life. The gift for you to be breathing today is the gift of life. The Bible says the sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and his delivered up the dead who were in them, and they were judged each according to their works. Ladies and gentlemen, one day we are going to be judged according to our works. If you are doing everything that you do and you feel in your heart that you're conscious, whatever you do, there's something inside of you that is telling you that, hey, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Please don't do it. When your conscious say, don't do it. Let me tell you about something. Uh, there's this small voice inside of every person. This small voice is very soft. When it tells you, when you want to do something wrong, and this very small voice tells you that, don't do it. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, don't do it because... When you do it, you do that wrong thing, you are going to be in a very serious problem. When that small voice say, don't do it, don't do it. And this small voice is the voice of God and it doesn't force people not to do it. It will tell you so simple that why if you don't do it, then you will continue to do it while the small voice is telling you that don't do it. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone, any one of us, we are going to be judged according to the way we live, according to our lives. So, let's love God. Let's live right and not forget, Kure, we will die. Look, the judgment is waiting. What are you doing there? Is the demons telling you to hate another person? Is the demons telling you... Uh, to, to revenge on people. Ladies and gentlemen, be careful uh, of, of your friends. Be careful. Uh, every time when you've got friends, you tell them everything. These friends that you are telling them everything will turn against you. But at Teresa, they will use what you tell them. Let's go to the each and every time. They will use it against you. And you will find your life in danger. One of the good days. According to Revelation chapter 20, verse 14, it says, The death and heads were cast into the lake of fire. And this is the second death. There is still another death after we pass this death on here on earth. The, the Bible says, uh, Revelation 20, verse 15, And anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm reading to the book of life, ladies and gentlemen, let us make sure that our names are written in the book of life. What book is the book of life. This book of life is the book where Oh my God, you will find yourself in paradise. You will find yourself eating good. Oh, utavona na naba pita, naba petro, naba johana. Utavona na naba lava ngashupekela vangelia shkwembo. When you live right, mara when you live wrong, 
ladies and gentlemen utobona nzilo ukarupura fire will be burning so ladies and gentlemen let us avoid fire by living right hambe munhu akuendlela ina hini hoteka matihlungu langu tisa hambe munhu wa kuzonda teka matihlungu langu tisa hambe munhu anga ku take kahle teka matihlungu langu tisa don't revenge nga tlhelisa leso bia so bia balangu tiseni mara shikwa mushita god will prove them wrong ngwina munga ba tlhelisele don't do anything wrong to those people those who don't like you those who hate you every left right and center just look at them greet them your enemies when you meet them oh my god ladies and gentlemen he will be with you he will continue to bless you he will give you more plenty and abundance blessings when you live right ladies and gentlemen there is a goodness ungaba uhinza hele ku tikerweni mara god oh god will take care of you god will be right there with you thank you very much as you're watching man of god prophet elijah thank you very much and all of you that are connected right now God will be right there with you. God will take care of you. The Bible says, make sure that your name is written in the book of life. Book of life. Ladies and gentlemen, kuna buku ya butomi. Kuna buku ya letilweni. Kuna buku le shikomba atsama kuna yo. Kuna buku where our lives automatically Uh, is being written in that book whatever we do the way we live when we live right it points look at your life when you are in the classroom when you are in the classroom uh, there is a, a, a register every day they register when you are present in the class when they are busy uh, registering when you are present in the class oh my god your availability it Si enda na leswaku loko se lemberi ya hela u hetelela u ba u pasa u pasa tswana hi points that we were there at class oh ladies and gentlemen do you remember the prefect kuna prefect inside the class that prefect inside the class lo atsala u ba ku rasa lo ka tshama ka ra tsala tsala ba ku rasa tsala tsala ba ku rasa wena u write then at the end of the day it gives you points ladies and gentlemen i have been at the points ta ku hanya kahle loko ha rela msaveni let's have good points ti ntsumi loko ti kare ti tlhelela matilweni ti ko he bona man man he bona prophet elijah tsepor khotso he's living right on earth he's doing the right thing o ti sa report anzen ka atilweni loko ti kare ti sa ti report those good reports oh my god ti lora chika God will come down by himself. Hear the Bible, God when God is angry, loko shikomo sa akwatini bala lava we around you, he will roar. Bala lava ta tsutsuma ba hangalaka. The Bible says that it they will come in one way, but they will flee in many ways. But a ha, but ta tsutsuma hi tindlela ta ku hambana hambana ba hangalaka. Ladies and gentlemen, God is right there with you. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes when you are sitting there lonely, hopelessly, you don't know what to do, feeling anger in your heart, feeling hurt in your heart, but you will feel something in that room where you are. Like there's someone who is around me here. Immediately when you feel that, ladies and gentlemen, there's a ministering angel showing his presence around you kukomba kore you are not alone you are in this deeper problem mara you feel like you are alone remember i am with you ladies and gentlemen there are times even myself when i'm sitting hopelessly i could feel a certain presence around me feeling like there's someone around here i don't know who is this person someone is like walking in the other room someone is moving somewhere around here i don't know who could be that person ladies and gentlemen the bible says when jesus was praying in the in the patmos oh i mean jesus was praying uh, uh, in the wilderness in, in the mountain ladies and gentlemen look yes the angel came the angel came 
ladies and gentlemen loko here ka a hopeless situation the angel comes kuna ntsumi ngwane le itaku if ka iku tiyisa you are not alone i'm with you you are not alone sometimes this angel doesn't talk this angel just make his presence felt when jesus was praying in gethsemane the angels came these angels they never talk they didn't say anything but they were there the bible says here tinsume tinutiyisa tinsume let ati tele ku ta ngutiyisa yesu because he was in agony ari ka shimo sha kutika ari ka shimo sha kuvaba he, he was in a very bad situation ladies and gentlemen how would you feel if they tell you that today in the midnight we are going to kill you how are you going to feel boku bzela pastor elijah eh pastor elijah eh prophet elijah lokho bomi bzela ba kangwina this night you are going to die tonight how are you going to feel jesus was in agony he felt every pain atwa ku baba hinkwako atwa ti pain hinkwato aswita kuri this is more than i could bear tinsumitita the angels came oh my god the angels when they come they make their presence felt when the angels make their presence felt takuti yisa tinsumita shikwembo i understand kuri we people uh, we are very much addicted to the point of saying uh, this place kuna baloi there are witches around uh, there are there are demons there are everything mara remember ladies and gentlemen that the angels also are available to be right there for us when we are in a hopeless situation angels they can come in that hopeless situations and make that presence felt yes so look at kongela sometimes ladies and gentlemen like myself when i'm in a hard difficult situation i even don't know what to say to god when i'm supposed to pray i don't know what to say i don't know even you people of god you may be in situations where you don't know what you will you say when you open your your mouth you don't know what to say how still kungabula in one of the good times when i'm supposed to open my mouth and pray i just felt my tears coming out of my eyes some people they will feel like it's a joke karungwa lokho laba ku khongela oshitwa ku ko hala ka mihloti you are using your tears to pray instead of you speaking the tears they just come out ladies and gentlemen when i read in revelations it says kuna a bowel le ikangatela ka mihloti at that time every time when you are supposed to pray and you just cry when you are supposed to pray you cry you want to pray you cry ladies and gentlemen mihloti ya ngwina your tears they are being measured in heaven kuna a measurement of your tears every time when you cry your tears are being measured in heaven when your tears are being measured in heaven your tears are going to be calculated according to how many times you cried the more you cry the more they are calculated your tears are calculated in heaven the more the reward the more the angels they begin to be active around you around your life ladies and gentlemen god is right there with you no matter you are in a hopeless situation ladies and gentlemen the hopeless situation thing amen let's go meet sika shikwembo trust god the more trust believe in god the more the more you believe in god the more you trust in god is the more the angels will come in numbers oh my god one day ami yesu ezabula bula mara tola mona aku i can pray ninga khongela leswaku tintsumi tita mara is because it was his time leswaku ayabambiwa i fela eshamba nwini it didn't matter leswaku yesu abitana tintsumi leswaku tita ngulamlela 
because it was planned so that he may come and die for our sins. But ladies and gentlemen, the angels could come in many numbers to rescue you in that situation. Ladies and gentlemen, God is a spirit. According to John 4 verse 24, our God is a spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Let me tell you something that attracts God. Attraction by God, of God, is when you worship him in spirit and in truth. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Loko u ganzala shikwembo, in spirit and in truth, you are attracting heaven to come closer to you. That is how to attract heaven. That is how to attract the presence, the heavy presence of God from the throne. When you worship God in the spirit and in truth. How to worship God in the spirit and in truth. is when you are worshiping God according to who he is. And according to the word that the word has been written. You are using his word to worship him. You are, you are using exactly, you, you, are, you are worshiping him according to his will. Ladies and gentlemen, you are praying in the spirit and in the spirit. Oh, you can get deeper into Makatalabayanda. You get into the spirit of worshiping him in spirit and in truth. Then there's the... the the heaven comes down in your situation. One day I had this situation, ladies and gentlemen, in my life. I had this situation where I felt so down. I remember, uh, you know, in life, we can, people can make you feel down. I remember I was so down, 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 down. But when I was down, 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 I slept. When I was sleeping, I had a dream. And in that dream, I saw someone who made me felt so down, fighting with a very huge person in that dream. Very huge person. I was like, if this is not God, it might be an angel of God that this person is fighting with. So ladies and gentlemen, let's continue to trust in God. Let's continue to believe in God. As we have read, Yerbebele Johanna abona shilube le shkulu sho basa tilo nam saba sho baleka. Yerbebele logo vitra wa eringa kumekere tsaro wele abuku ni abutomi. Everyone will be cast in the lake of fire. Ladies and gentlemen, in I'm concluding right now by saying this. The Bible says, He We are made righteous by believing in Jesus Christ. Awo teketelana uba ululame we shekumbe Try by all means to be a right person by yourself. When you believe in Jesus Christ, it makes you turn into being right. We are all wrong. wrong That's why we don't have to judge each other. Why man are so? Why man are anya so? Why man are so? Why man are in this way? We don't have to look each other in that eye. But the Bible says, He lulameke, he kufumela, eka Yesu Christ. As long as that one believe in Jesus, you believe in Jesus, someone believe in Jesus, is made right with God by believing in Jesus. Because from in the past, she kwembo, she ende tinde la tau kubana maganzelo lo kumona ajo hili, kwendo maganzelo. But because that in that way, it was a temporary forgiveness of sins. It was just temporary. 
leswi vula ku kuri ku ta tshama aku ta tshama ku hiseteriwa swa hari swi endla maganzelo each and every day mara god made a way xikombisa endla ndlela leyi nga ta a permanent way of the forgiveness of sins leswaku anyone who believe in jesus christ you confess your sins and you believe in jesus and you are forgiven you are made right mun ange puki abe right yeshe mara yiri hi endwa la balulameke he kupfumela ka yesu christ so as i am concluding right now loko na heta i want to pray with someone you feel low you feel down uh, like the way i used to even myself mara i want to pray with you it doesn't matter how you feel right now god is right there way with you so right now i want to pray with someone who say i feel low i feel down oh my god right now i want to pray with you oh in the name of jesus i want to pray with you you may be feeling sick in your body ongaba utoku baba you are in a bangwanyan ban valika the situation where they are afraid to explain to other people leswaku ntoku baba xilo xa sona hlo xi ntusa ku baba sati wa me o ntusa ku baba nuno me o ntusa ku baba they are afraid to explain this thing to other people but let me tell you something that i feel your pain in that marriage something is wrong but i want to pray right now leswaku xikwembo i end up something with that life of you so right now as i con- as i want to pray laba ku ya khongela na mon loy again ange i want to receive jesus christ as my lord and my savior because the only way ya ku ba vito ri tsarwa bukwini ya vutomi is when you believe in jesus when you pray this prayer ya salvation and then you begin to live right and god will be right there and your name will be written in the book of life so right now where you are let's pray follow me in this prayer all of us let's say father in the name of jesus i am a sinner forgive me i don't have hope i need hope i accept you jesus forgive me all my sins wash me all my sins write my name in your in your book of life i am so sorry i have sinned before you forgive me i believe that jesus christ you are lord and that god raised you amongst the dead thank you for this gift of salvation thank you because from today i'm born again i'm a new creature write my name in the book of life I thank you. I receive the Holy Spirit into my life to guide me, to lead me and to direct me in Jesus name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, after you prayed that prayer, you are born again, you are a new creature. You are a new uh, creation of God. you are born again you are a child of god mishubumbo ale shimpsa god bless you right there where you are so till we meet next time god bless you and give you more grace thank you very much be blessed you and your family your husband your wife your kids everywhere you are remain blessed till we meet next time thank you very much uh, prophet uh, elijah Tepor Khotso God bless you and all those who are watching thank you very much goodbye amen